Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is a performance max hack how to understand your data better. Now, one of the biggest issues in accounts that I see is when I make or when I see changes being made, clients or other people do get reactive from when the moment of the change was made to the other moment when they're actually reviewing the data. And they actually just don't understand what the lag time or what the time effect will be when actually doing it. So the most important thing is actually understanding how long does it take from someone from your data to convert. Now, some businesses, it's within one or two days. Some businesses, is 90 days. So the only way you're going to know this is by actually looking at your own data yourself. And this is really simple. All you got to do is go up to Tools and Settings and then go to Attribution. Once you're in there, uh, you jump into the dashboard and you go to Path Metrics here. Now, the most important part of this is understanding that there are so many variables here and so many drop downs that you can do that you just want to get the clear one number. And I've been going through this with a few clients recently about their data. So the data that you want to look at is one, you want to choose your conversion action. Now, I'm not going to drop this down because this does reveal some client data. From there, you can choose if you want it to be call data, transaction data, or any sort of conversion that you've actually got in your account. The next thing is the look back window. What look back do you want? 30, 60, or 90 days? And then what period of time? And then the measurement of interaction. So as you can see here, even with all these things, the last 30 days, the last seven days, and the measurement from the last interaction, it's 1.3 average days to conversions, and the average interactions to conversion is 1.5. So every user on average has to go to the site 1.5 times to convert. Now, if I change this look back window to 90 days, we can already see that this has already stayed the same. We change the data to maybe the last 90 days. I'll just change it up here. And we can see that's already changed to the average days to conversion, 3.2, and the average interactions to a conversion is 1.7. But that's from the measurement from the last click. Now the last bit we want to go to the first interaction. So from the first interaction, how much time or how much effort does it take? The average days move up from one to two days to now just under seven days, and the average interaction is 1.7. So if we go back to that original number here, and we go back here to last interaction, and then we go the last seven days, we can see 1.3 to 1.5 changes to last 90, this to last 90 as well. And then also understanding the first interaction. And that is a significant difference in data. So when you are analyzing data or when you are making changes in accounts, it's so important to understand that if you are not across this data, you might be optimizing things sooner than you actually should be. You actually haven't given it the amount of time that it needs to, to start seeing the input. See, if we're looking at from the old perspective, I would have need to look at the last two days and just check that if it hasn't been good in two days afterwards, it'd be poor performance. I need to give it over a week now to actually understand what impact is being made. So it's so important to understand this. Here's another account for a client. Go in here, 1.1 days and 2.8 to the average interactions. So I'll do the same thing again, change that to 90 days, this to 90 days as well. And then here we go to first interaction. And we can see the average conversion days is about 10.8, so just under 11 days. And also the average interactions three. So if I'm not giving this account 11 days, 12 days, 15 days after I've made the implementation, I'm actually not doing a service to this client and to this account. But not understanding this data is the crucial part of why most performance max accounts fail. They don't actually understand what the lag time is between when you make a change and when you need to review and optimize it as well. This goes back to my old principle of the 221 rule, which is implement changes within 48 hours or two days of chatting to the client and give it at least 21 days to run and get the data. Do not make changes in accounts less than 21 days, but even here we can see it's a minimum, bare minimum 11 days there. So I'll leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed this. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au.